Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ovo TV Primetime Show. I'm your host, Nelson Mike Madama Ryoki. Remember that today's broadcast is live streaming on five other platforms concurrently. That is the Ovo TV YouTube channel, the Nelson Mike Podcast YouTube channel, the KNL Facebook page, my private Facebook page, and also on Twitter at Vo Television. Leo he, kama vile mihu wanasema, kazi ni mingi, masa ni machache. One of the main topics that we're going to be addressing today is the story of the one and only Paris Mugure, who is deaf, paralyzed, and blind, locked up in Sakan Leohi. I'm hosting the mother for the second time and her sister for the second time to Ambie, Yale Ambo Inandelea, Vile Kunandelea on the ground, plus more. So, Bila kupoteza wakati, wakati kazi ni mingi masa ni machache. Let me start by introducing the mother to Paris Mugore. Karibu. Karibu, karibu mama. Kwa salimia. Sasa naongea kwa Kwanza salimia tuambio kwa wapi? Wambio kwa wapi kwanza ni introduction. Wambio kwa wapi bila kuendelea na pia mtoto wako ajintroduce. Sasa mimi ni Baba Paris na niko na kuru. Sasa sita ya Paris ndio nataka kuwajuliza vile Paris yako. Sasa Paris yako Saudi Arabia na ako Sakal. Sasa nilikuwa nataka tu nijue Mwanimu ya Paris kwa sababu Paris hako na sita ya ugojo, atepei, ogei, na apu, aoni. Sasa diyo nilikuwa nataka lichue sasa, nita toa usaidisi wapi diyo Paris alikujie, atoke huku saudia, diyo akuje. Sasa nilikuwa natoka, na hopa usaidisi kwa watu wate wa Kenya, nisaitie pire Paris ya taruti hapa nakuru. Kwa sababu sasa niko na kesi ya huyu mtoto. Kwa sababu siku ile alienda huku sasa siku jua alipeleka kwa Sakani, alikuwa amemaliza contract yake. Na sasa badala ya kumaliza contract yake, sijui hiyo boss alimpeleka Sakani kwa nini. Leo ndio nataka kujua sana kwa sababu hiyo mpeni alikuwa amemaliza contract yake ya miaka 2 na akaongeza mwaka mmoja, ikakuja miaka tatu. Sasa hili fili aliongeza miaka tatu siku ya kumaliza contract video hiyo simu yake ikakuwa mteja sasa tukasidua mtoto wako waje tukaulisia tukaulisia maneno ya mtoto sasa mwenye alikuwa naye alikuwa na hiyo nini mwenye alimpeleka sasa nikumuuliza hako ananieleza maneno ya Paris na hako ananieleza peni yako sasa nikamwambia nipige huko Saudia unilisee maneno ya mtoto yako ndio nijue hali ya yenye yako kwa sababu hata watu watu wenye wako huko wanapiga simu lakini mtoto yako anapiga simu na sitwa sita iko wapi kwa juu ya mtoto yako kwa sababu wenye hata wakipeleka huko sakani mimi nasikia wanaogeana na simu lakini mtoto wako achukui si achukui simu sasa nikasimu E, sasa nikasitoa mtoto alifanyaje na yule mtoto alikuwa ananiambia atamaliza contract arudi hata ongeza contract sasa saa hii saa hii alimaliza contract yake mwezi wa sita na 29 hiyo simu yake iliisa ilizima ikazima kabisa sasa kugoja hii nini kabini fanyo ndio yule mtu tuone ni muone ndio aniambia maneno ya Paris ikakaa ikaenda ika muda ya miezi karibu ile hivi hivyo ndio nijue sasa penye yako na sasa ile nilichika kumuuliza kumuuliza penye Paris yako alikuwa eh, agent alikuwa huyu anaitwa Elija pasta Elija alikuwa nilirutishia vibaya sana ati sasa mimi hmm. contract ya mtoto ni tuliandikana contract ya miaka 2 sasa miaka tatu imefika sasa hiyo ni sita yako sasa ujue vile mtoto atafanya nini atarudi sasa mimi sijui mam Ana... mam eh? eh? mam eh huyu agent wa mtoto wako ambia tazamaji tena 
anaitwa pasta nani eh pasta elija okay na tafadhali nataka urudie tena alikwambia nini haswa ulipomuuliza alikuwa mambo za mtoto alikuwa ananiambia ati contract yake ya guye ya tuliatikana na yeye na miaka 2 iliisa sasa hiyo ikine ya miaka tatu imisi ya kuongeza mwaka sijui sasa nikamuuliza hata kama contract iliisa kwa sababu mimi contract ikiisa hiyo mtoto niliwaambia mtoto ameongeza contract sasa akaniambia sasa mimi siju sijui sasa akaniuliza kwani siku ile ulikuwa unakula pesa ya huyo mtoto wako ulikuwa unaniuliza maneno ya Paris sasa ile hapo kwa shida ndio ndaniuliza hiyo ndio aliniambia nikamuliza hii maneno itaendelea mbele akaniambia sasa unasema maneno itaendelea mbele akiwa itaendelea mbele wacha ikae tilifo mimi sitakusaidia sasa ni tena siku saa ile nilisikia ipo nikakuwa mpole tena nikamuuliza sasa tu nataka unisaidie tu kwa sababu vile sijui sasa ile tambu nitasika Paris sasa ndio akaniambia eh kuja mzuri ndio tuongee na we na wewe sasa ndio nikamupigia sasa ndio tukaongea akaniambia wacha nitapiga simu huko niona kama atachuli watanichukuli watanichukulia sasa alikuwa anasema hawachukui hawa simu lakini nilikuwa naona ni kama uongo kwa sababu hakuwa na alikuwa anaenda shughuli nyingi sana na nikimpigia kama hao hakuwa wanachukua mimi chukulia sasa mambo na katika katika sasa mimi hakuwa nichukulia hakuwa sasa nikasitwa sita iko sita iko wapi sasa ndio nikasema sasa ndio tukao akaniambia wacha tu nitajali nitajaribu nitajaribu sasa ndio akaniambia nitajali sasa alikaa kwa muda bila kujaribu na hata akipigiwa na mama mwingine hako na robi anaitwa mama Kinya kubali kuchukua simu yake sasa mama huyo mama ananiambia wewe test yeye kuna kama atakuchukulia nini simu sasa ndio nilitesti ya nikatesta mpaka akachukua. Baadaye sasa ndio sasa nikaambia hiyo shiko ya sasa huyo wako Qatar ni ebu muogrese pole pole ndio akupali kupatia na kitu ya Paris kwa sababu hata nikimuitiza hiyo kitu Okay, ah uh, mama ke Paris ame um, amekwa makidogo but history to tend the nayo now i want to make something very crystal clear munasikia yale ambayo mama peris anatuambia na leo hii again niko na two breaking news breaking news ya kwanza ambayo nilipokea asubuhi ya leo one thing i want to make very crystal clear again is remember you are nine, eight hours ahead of me sasa ndio huyo akampeleka pole pole po ya ya Paris. Kwa sababu sasa alikuwa anakataa kabisa. Sasa okay. ndio nika mimi niliona akiwa mgumu sana. Alikuwa naona akiwa mgumu sana. Kwa sababu mtu alipeleka Paris. Sasa anaona sasa akanipatia hiyo namba ya boss. Sasa nikasitwa akinipatia mimi namba ya boss na mimi boss hawezi nisikia hata nikumpigia simu hakunichukulia boss mwenyewe. Hakunichukulia hata kidogo. Sasa nikasitwa hata akinipe nini namba ya bosi nitafanya nini? Hakuna kitu nitafanya kwa sababu bosi hawezi kuchukulia mimi simu. Sasa yeye ndio alikuwa anataka achukue hatua, apige apige ofisi ndio ofisi wa mwambie mwenye peri yaka ako wapi. Sasa nilisukana sana nikikana na hiyo mtoto tangu saa hii. Sasa nikimuuliza mtoto aka aje. Sasa ananiambia yeye pengine mtoto wako alienda kutafuta kasi pahali pengine na mwambie mtoto wangu ni mpole sana. Hiyo tabia awezi fanya ya kuenda kutafuta kasi pahali pengine. Wanaenda kwa ofisi tena huyo mama na mtuma kwa ofisi. Na aenda na mwambia ati pengine hiyo msichana ameenda kutafuta kasi nini pahali pengine. Ni namwambia hapana mm. hiyo mtoto wangu ni mpole sana. Awezi toka iko kitu alifanyika. Tena hata akienda kutafuta kasi anaenda kutafuta na simu inasimika kwa sababu hata simu siogei na yeye simu hanipigi simu aniabisi dako naye 
sasa nikamuuliza ataweza ya kutafuta kazi na simu atuongeleze na yeye yeye akaniambia mimi si tu mimi si tu lakini hata kuongea naye mambo nyingi hakuwa nakubali kuongea na mimi sasa mimi baraka nikasitoa sasa nitafanya nini kwa sababu sasa je nye ninatumia kwa nini kwa hiyo agent yake ya kumwambia nitafutie mtu likoma sasa nikasitoa nitafanya nini sasa nikakaa hapo nikakaa hapo ndio sasa yule msichana anaitwa Scotty akashughulika hii mambo ndio akaniambia sasa ni tujue vile tutapata mtu tutapata mtoto mtoto ndio sasa tukapata hii sasa tuki nikisikia hapo sakani nikauliza alipelekwa sakani kwa nini kwa sababu yule mtoto alikuwa amemaliza contract wa kwanza sio kutoroka alitoroka kwa sababu najua yes. watu wenye wanapeleka kwa sakani wenye wanatoroka huyu mtoto alimaliza contract na akaongeza alafu nasikia passport hana hakuna kitu wako naye hata huko sakani hiyo sijui sasa hiyo maneno iko kwa boss sijui alimfanyia nini ndio mpeleka sakani na mnyanganya kila kitu na asime juu sijui alimfanyia nini juu anyamaze asioke okay baje okay. kidogo mama tufikishe 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 mama mama tufikishe hapo kwanza nataka kuna ni kuna swali hapa Eh, waje tuangalie tuangalie picha ya Paris tena. Huyo ni Paris vile alitoka akiwa Kenya, msichana kwa na afya. Ana shida. Na huu ni Paris akiwa hivi, akiwa kipofu, haongei na haski. Um, let me ask um let me ask Wanjiro the sister. Wanjiro Ulongea ulongea yeah. na sister kwa mara yako ya mwisho lini. Unakumbuka? Mwisho eh mwisho tuliongea na yeye mwezi wa sita. Mwezi wa sita mwanzo. So this year. Yeah, this year. Na let me bring back the picture. I want us to nataka to we go step by step, right? So. Yeah. Na ulipongea na ulipongea na yeye alikuwa mm-hmm. mzima akwa kipofu kabisa unaweza kumbuka the last thing alikwambia yeah tuli the last thing yenye tuliongea aliniambia anamaliza mm-hmm. contract mwezi wa sita mwisho so mm-hmm. she will come back like tuseme in three weeks time angekuwa amerudi in three weeks time ya mwezi wa sita mhm Yeah. Okay. Again, let me bring it back. Mom, um let, let me let me give the viewers a, a, an update. Um uh, siku ya jana niliweza kuongea na Pastor Elijah. Huyo agent wa mtoto wako, mom, ni pastor. Mm. Anaitwa Pastor Elijah. Mm. Anaitwa Pastor Elijah amekuwa amekuwa kifuatilia hii kesi. And I want to na nasema nasema anafuatilia vile tunaongea hapa kwa mitandao. Kwa hivyo hata Pastor Elijah wherever you are, I hope you are here and I want you to pay attention. Kwa sababu nikwambia kwamba yale ambayo tuliongea jana it's going to be public record. Everything I discuss with with these people inakuwa public record. Hakuna kitu mimi nafichilia. Kwa sababu hata yale ambayo unafanya gizani, pia Mungu atayaleta kwa mwangaza. Pastor let me now tell you Um, let me talk to the viewers nantawechi let me bring this picture kwanza wacha niwaambie yale ambao jana niliongea na huyu pastor uh, give me one second uh, give me one second Okay, perfect. Oh, one thing ningetaka kusema mam, uh, Pastor Elijah alianza kujitetea akasema ya kwamba yale ambayo uliambia Vo TV <laughs> ati ni uongo si ukweli. Ah, uh, akasema ati ninge ingekuwa inge mzuri kama ningemuuliza kwanza vile kunaendelea lakini pia katika conversation yetu alisema ya kwamba and let me read first in english la kutafsiri my interest is now to push and see paris back to kenya 
na akasema i'm sure god will make a way for her i want to read a statement that i read that i said to the pastor i said as the pastor you say you are rest assured i will not rest until i see mogore at jkia you know what ha- you know what has happened to her your level of disrespect and utterances to her mother have already been prosecuted by the public court get paris mogore out of saudi arabia alive nime document kila kitu let me continue the pastor elijah also said i have made a lot of efforts so far but i have had serious challenges since my office in riyadh has failed to pick up my calls the two things the pastor agreed na ntasema pia tukiendelea ntatafsiri mamtan ntatafsiri na 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 Kiswahili alisema kwamba ofisi ya riyadh haikuwa inachukua uh, simu zake na pia akasema ya kwamba turudi hapa akasema ya kwamba alifunga ofisi yake ya kusafirisha wasichana Saudia juu ya zile uh, shida alikuwa nazo akiongea na ofisi so hivyo ndivyo pastor Elijah alisema which brings me now to the next topic again welcome to Vote TV prime time show as we proceed with today's broadcast kazi ni mingi masani machache with me mama Keperis Mogore na sistake Peris iko hapa asubuhi ya leo nilipoamka nilipata ujumbe ya kwamba Peris Mogore ameachiliwa sakan mam ningetaka pia nyinyi muniambie wanjero mulambiwa mlipata mlipata message kutoka Saudi Arabia kuna mtana ambaye aliandikia ali kijana yako na akamtumia audio ya kusema kwamba Paris ameachiliwa sakan ni ukweli ama si ukweli iko eh iko msichana alikuwa amepiga akasema ati Paris amewachiliwa sakan alafu naye mwingine akasema ati Paris hajawachiliwa sakan atiye ati ati alipelekwa kwa hiyo poti wakakataa wakasema ati ikana na hali ya yenye yako hawezi kuja sasa sijui kweli so, so yeah so mam tutaanzia hapa waje na bianga yeah. mimi nili mimi nime nime derailwa kanida wa PCA tuga mutaratara na yeah. kama step by step kwa hivyo waje tuanzie na message ya kwanza ambayo ilikuwa inasema ya kwamba Paris aliachiliwa takani okay eh eh ah uh, uchaniangalia hapa kwa sababu tu, tu, kwa sababu kwa sababu tu, tulipata message mbili ya kulikuwa eh. na moja ya kuachiliwa na kulikuwa eh. na moja ambayo alisema kwamba alipofika airport uh, wali, walimkataza ah. kuingia eh uh, give me a second Ngoja mam. Ngoja simu yangu inakwanga na message mingi sana. Kwa hivyo nitaangalia hapa kwanza haraka. Najaribu kuipata hapa haraka haraka. Okay. Wacha ncheze message ya pili ya kwanza. Ile ambayo alisema mambo za airport walikataa ingia ama alikataa kuingia. Give me a second. Wewe mlembo peli selikuwa toke lakini mimi singewaambia juu ujue mambo yake na 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 nini na yeye apo ni ngumu ujue msichana wenu kile mambo yake iko ni ngumu so mimi singe singewaambia kama hajapita kwa hivyo mimi venye adikosa kupita nikaambiwa hakupita sasa singewaambia kitu kingine lakini mwenye waambiwa walitoka ni sawa mimi sijui lakini niliambiwa hakupita to all the viewers mumesikia hiyo message kwa airport tumeambiwa hakupita ningetaka kwanza mamu comment 
alafu shiro u comment mama ongea kwanza sasa ni uko na sema sasa aliambiwa hakupita na wengine wakasema amepita sasa sijui digani sasa tutajua kama alipita au hakupita kwa sababu unaona hapo ni watu wawili sijui kama ni watu wawili waliokea au ni mmoja kwa sababu hiyo kijana alikuwa ameniambia ati aliabio Paris amewatiliwa na mama mwingine huko wanakuja sasa naye nikasikia tena msichana mwingine akasema hakupita sasa ndio ninasitoa kama alipita au hakupita kwa sababu unajua hata kama alikuja sasa siwezi jua kama alikuja au hakuji sasa hiyo ndio stress kwanza niko naye niki kwa sababu unajua sasa nimewekwa kama mtu mwenye hii hii ajui hii sasa kwa sababu sasa nimeambiwa amewatiliwa ame tena nikaambiwa tena hajawatiliwa unaona no, sasa hiyo inani inani stress kwa sababu sijajua tena huyu sasa huyu nani huyu mwenye huyu mwenye alimpeleka Elija sasa ndio ni, nataka niulize kwa sababu huyu mtoto wangu alikuwa amemaliza contract ugonjwa ndio nilikuwa nasema ilikujaje kwa huyu yes. mtoto kwa sababu yes. na hapo mm, mm. eh kwa sababu huyu mtoto hapo anagojeka tangu aende Saudi yes. na alikojeka yes. siku ile nyumbani ndio nilisidua na hii ugonjwa ya kumpotesa macho miguu kuogea hiyo ndio inanifanya sasa nisidue alifanyaje mm. ndio akose kuogea na nini na kutebea na macho wa ioni na siku ile alikuwa wa mwisho mwisho tulikuwa tunaogea na yeye hakuwa hata tangu aende Saudi ajagojeka hata kidogo siku ya kurudi nyumbani jicho nilishitu alikojeka sasa tanaye huyo kalipe stress nikauliza sasa huyo alija kwa sababu anasema alifuga nini wafisi alifuga kwa sababu ya juu ya Paris au alifuga na juu ya maneno yake yenye alikuwa si kwa sababu hakunieleza mimi siku ile nilimuuliza maneno ya Paris hakuniambia alifuga ofisi hakuniambia maneno ya ofisi sasa ni mimi alinitolea vitu yenye nilitaka na ni baadaye kumzungua sasa ndio nasitu alifuga ofisi juu ya nini kwa sababu hakunieleza tena hata akifuga uh, ofisi lazima awe pengine sasa alishughulikie mtoto kwa sababu ya nilipatia na mkono yake sasa agenishughulikia yes. akuje sasa atuambiage nilifuga ofisi lakini mimi nimeshughulika na hiyo mtoto kwa sababu ninasikia hako aliba alibaya kwa Haliba. sababu yeye akimpeleka hakumpeleka akiwa ipo alimpeleka sio mzuri mzuri tena mtu mzuri na mtu mwokofu anaogea mzuri kwa sababu ageneleza kwa sababu niliagaika sana hata nilikuwa napiga simu kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni na wezi nichukulia simu sasa jioni nilikuwa nasema nilikuwa ndio nasitoa alikuwa anakataa kunichukulia simu kwa nini kwa sababu yeye ndio alipeleka mtoto sasa angechukua simu aniambie wacha tumtafute hata garao sijui nilifuga nini ofisi tumtafute kwa sababu mimi ndio niko na nini na napa sa ofisi unajua ni bosi yenye nilipatia huyu mtoto hata afikie bosi kwa sababu alikuwa na namba yake. Amuulize boss, huyu mtoto nilikupatia ako wapi? Sasa ndio amwele, amweleze. Sasa sida ya nini ya huyu Elija hata ukimwambia alinipatia namba, alichukua namba. Sasa nikasitoa, namba litaasia bosi aje. Wa kwanza mimi sijui ke, eh, kuogea ke, kiarabu. Eh kiarabu sijui kiarabu. Sasa nikiogea na hiyo mtu aje siliku nipe stress kabisa eh sasa nikasitua kama yeye ni mtoto yake angekuwa anafanya hivyo kwa sababu hata yeye amesaa hako na watoto sasa ha, sasa angekuwa anafanya hivyo sasa ageneleza kama mzazi mzuri na mwenye anahubiria watu wengi aniambie mtoto wacha tumtafute paka tumpa tumpate tukimpata tutajua sida ya mu ya mtoto sasa hako ananiambia hivyo sasa ni kumpigia simu anakata Unampigia si simu anakata. Hata mtu akiwa na shughuli nyingi anaambia mtu, nilikuwa busy lakini sasa wacha tuogee vile ulikuwa nata unataka. Sasa Elija yako ananiambia ipo. 
mimi nilikuwa napigia na subua eh na subua eh na siku hiyo nilimwambia hii maneno itaendelea kabisa <coughs> elisha hii maneno itaendelea ni pia akiwa ni hivyo wacha wewe tutaona wacha yele akiwa ni hivyo sitakuzungulikia sasa nika nika eta pole pole tena nikamwambia hapana sio hivyo nilikuwa nasema wacha tushughulikie mtoto kwa sababu sijui pende na hata nikimwambia hivyo pole mam goja eh? mam goja Goja tuko na breaking news. Tuko na breaking news hapa kutaka kwa msichana ambaye anaitwa ni hapa anaitwa Jane Mokema anasema bado amekataliwa hakupita. Jane Mokema if you are watching hapa tafadhali tuambie pale ulipo ama mlikuwa kwa airport ama ulikuwa kwa airport mkiwa na Paris. Hii ni breaking news. This is happening right here on Vo TV. Jane Mokema akitwambia kwamba amekataliwa na hakupita. Uh, more comments. Sami Samuel. Thank you very much mwana comment yako. Ah. Uh, kuna mambo mingi hapa ambayo imeanza kutokea kujitokelezea. <laughs> On top of the hour let me also say ya kwamba kuna kesi nyingine ambayo pia tutakutaguzia mam as we proceed kuja kidogo tutaingia hapa acha niingie hapa kwanza tukiendea tukiendea na kesi ya 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 Paris Mugure kuna kesi nyingine pia tutaguzia wale ambao wamekuwa kwa Facebook page yangu ya leo hii tutaguzi tutaguzi tuta kesi ya huyu msichana huyu mama kuja kidogo kuja hapa And by the way, uh, Jane Mukema tafadhali ebu, ebu tuelezee umesema ya kwamba hakupita uh, uko airport ama uko wapi. And again, I want to make I want to stress on one thing and one thing only. Na umesikia vile hata mama Paris ametuambia pa mara ya pili. Huyo agent wa Paris anaitwa Pastor Elijah. Ni pasta Na hata nilipokuwa naongea nilipokuwa naongea naye jana I say to him you are a pastor you are a servant of God Na kuna kitu moja ningetaka kuambia mam mkiwa na wanjiro na those who are viewing Alikataa nilipomuuliza ni nini kilimfanyikia Paris akawa vile yuko sahi. Hiyo swali alikataa kujibu Unaje unachoe alijua Paris ni mgonjwa. Sasa ile sasa alisikia Paris ni mgonjwa, jua alianza kuokea. Sasa siwezi kumwekelea ati Paris sasa hivi alikuwa mgonjwa hakushughulika. Sasa hiyo jua alianza kuokea. Na kuokea yake ni kunipatia hiyo fitu ya Paris na hii yenye ilikuwa na muitiza. Jua jua aliogea naye akanipatia hiyo fitu. Okay. Pia alafu akasikia Ati nikamuuliza mm-hmm. Paris hapo sakani akaniambia akiwa hapo sakani hapo siwezi weza hivyo ndio aliniambia hapo siwezi weza akiwa hapo sakani siwezi weza hapo hivyo tu ndio aliniambia so uh, even even ndivyo nilikwambia kwa hivyo wacha pia tuguzi hapa haraka haraka una hii picha katikati i'm showing here in the middle as you can see even ndivyo Paris alikuwa na kaa Paris Mugore healthy young vibrant beautiful young young lady angalia this is the same person Paris then and Paris now deaf blind on a wheelchair anafungwa pampas she can't walk she can talk and she can hear another story I'm about to go on top of the hour is the story ya huyu mama ambaye anaitwa Miriam na hii ni kesi nyingine ambao pia nimeweza kuipokea leo hii Huyu mama amefungiwa jela Saudia. Ni kesi nyingine mbaya sana. Alishikwa amefungwa jela. Amekaa jela miezi moja sahi. A mother of three Miriam Wanjiko. 
Na kwa sababu hii ni Vote TV, baada ya kuweka history kwa Facebook page yangu leo hii. There are some breaking news about what happened to Miriam na pahali yuko sahi. We will address the, this topic on top of the hour. More topics right here on Vote TV. Also, kumukeni ya kwamba. Maiti. Maiti ya, uh, ya Simon Chege. Ilifika Kenya. Juzi. Simon Chege. Babake alikuwa hapa. Hii familia imekuwa hapa. Our Kenyan who died in Saudi Arabia. As we proceed. Adronica. Ambaye saa hii. Tuli, tume, imekuwa confirmed. Aliuliwa nchini Saudi Arabia alizikwa kitui juzi ameacha watoto wawili more topics all these ongoing cases here at Vote TV story ya damari kifo cha damari our sister ambaye alikufia Dubai airport akitoka Saudi another sad story more updates will be coming as well so we have Edna Edna Kimunto ambaye amekufia nchini Lebanon the husband ambaye cha mtoto wa miaka miwili Arian wamekuwa hapa the in-laws wamekuwa hapa familia yake imekuwa hapa another tragic death which Vote TV has concluded is an accident. Tukiendelea top of the hour updates on the Grace Mutuma story who has said she is taking Anita to court. His story pia nimeifuatilia. Anita alikuwa hapa jana. I'll give you more updates on this story. Nimeongea na Grace Muduma and as I continue to talk to Anita. Thank you very much for TV. Tuliweza ku we raised over 15,000 shillings. Hizo pesa Anita ataweza kwenda hospitali. And most importantly, kununua chakula. Tukiambia alituambia watoto wangu hawajakula sapa now let's come back here mama keperis kuna updates za mtoto wako na kuambia Mungu anatenda tukiendelea kuna mtu tunaongea na yeye saa hii akanisho wako na yeye na hakupita airport juu ya hali yake that's an update Coming in right now. Uh, Wajiro, tazomera mam comment. Yeah. Niona comment yo, niona, niona comment yo how screen ine. Nira miona? Mm. Kwa hivyo mama Paris. Yeah. Um, mtoto wako. Hakupita ya poto. Kwa sababu ya hali yake. Yeah. So this is breaking news on this story. Kevin yes, aliachiliwa sakan. Lakini now we can confirm based on what what we are what we are getting right now. Paris. Akupita airport. So the question is Swalini. Ataudishwa sakan. What's going to happen? And because this is Vote TV, Give me one second. Okay, napigia Pastor Elijah 
uh, ina kama kuna any information naweza kutupatia okay no one is answering comments ma'am sasa sasa nitaweza saitika jeti ya mtoto huyu akuja akiwa hako kuja sasa jenda sito serikali itaweza nisaidia au atafanya nini kiwa akuja kwa sababu sasa atiwa akiwa hali yake sio nzuri anafika hapa port ya narudi sasa atafanya nini kiwa akuja Kenya kwa sababu sasa hata huko wana mtibu au wana mpiga tumba sitano kwa sababu nilikuwa nasikia watu wenye wako huko wananiambia ati wanampiga basi tano yenye hatiwa ya ugojwa kwa sababu hata ugojwa ipatikani ni ugojwa gani ipatikani sasa na siku basi tano yenye ijulikani ni ya nini sasa nilikuwa nasema hiyo basi tano yenye pengine ana dugo siju itamuharibu kabisa na hakupelekwa hospitali sasa nilikuwa nauliza sasa nitasaidikaje huyu mtoto anikuje akiwa akiwa msima kuna comment ya Mwazala ambayo I like exactly I like what you said I guess she needs to be accompanied yani katika ha, ile hali ambayo yuko uh, mtoto wako haizi safari akiwa peke yake Recho Recho Wambo watching watching on Facebook thank you very much uh, mtoto wako vile yuko hawezi safari akiwa peke yake she needs to get assisted I mean um, assisted travel company mtu wa kwenda wa kusafiri na ye. Eh? Um, I'm trying to see if I can actually uh, give me a second and nataka kama nitaweza kupata ile video yake muone kabisa bila anakaa yes ndio hii video iko hapa Let's watch this video again ma'am Oh. Mtu akiwa hivi Mtu akiwa hivi hizi safari akiwa peke yake Okay kuna Jeremy Kiba amesema kwamba hawezi hawezi safari kweli akiwa peke yake goja ah Jeremy amesema kuna kitu hawataki kusema niliambiwa hana passport Mamu nasikia is only again more, inf- more 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 breaking news coming in right now here at Vote TV Yeah by the way those who are getting here, those who are joining here again make sure you like like this broadcast as we proceed kwa sababu leo niko na cases niko na cases mingi sana Ah uh, mtu kama Paris haizi safari haizi safari yake hivi peke yake Hapa tuko na maswali Sasa juu akupitishwa airport what's next unaelewa mama Shiro mm. Yeah So that so now that that you know that's an open question Okay ametoka sakan sakan alikuwa ameachiliwa amenda airport mm. airport aku aku avuke mm. kwa sababu ile hali ambayo yuko so what's next okay me the only, the only thing i would like to i would like to plead with the government ya yeah, saudi arabia wajue tu venye mtoto atatufikia kwa sababu there is one thing ni ata okay kuna tu kitu yenye mtu anaweza jiuliza with that state with the state that she is in una expect mtu kama huyu shwali hata akwa kwa na passport of course acha passport that's the, the least thing mtu anaweza uliza akiona that, that this person yani in this condition unaona so mimi nimeza wa plead to watu wapatie mtoto wetu company mtoto wetu atufikie kwa sababu wakianza kuleta excuses za passport Yaani watu ambao tu wanataka kumweka huko. Na ni vizuri kwa sasa sababu tunamuona yuko. Watu watupate tu mtoto wetu roho safi. 
Mm, wasitake kutuletea mtoto wetu akiwa kwa box. Kuambiagwe ni maiti hapana. Ivo hivyo venye yuko. Wampatie company mtoto atukujie. Kuliko sasa those are minor excuses. Hiyo kutuambia ati sorry na passport. What is passport? Hiyo passport inasema nini pale? We in the condition that she is in. Una expect mtu kama huyu sure ali hata hiyo passport akuwa yuko yu nayo. Hmm? Ah watu wamekuwa wakitukoroga. Si agent, si si huko kwenye yuko, si hata ule boss wake. Yeah? And with the things zenye wanataka kufichilia. Tunaweza itikia wafichilie lakini watupatie mtoto sababu tushamuona na tushajua kwenye yuko. Yeah? Watupatie tu mtoto. And uh, about Pasilija, huyo wacha tu Mungu amshughulikie. I know hakuna uh, kenye hakuna chenye who happen chini ya jua yenye Mungu ajui. So because ilifika to a point ali, aliongelesha mama vibaya. And the way he talks, mm. ilibidi kama karudi chini, akashuka kwa miguu yake ndiye akaitikia kufunguka na kutoa hizo documents zenye tulikuwa tunaitishwa. So hata hatutaki ete hiyo mabishano na yeye. Hatutaki hata kubishana na yeye. Wacha Mungu atamshughulikia. If at all anafanyaga kazi ya Mungu, God knows. Wow. Na hata kushinda akisema ati ati sijui sijui nini yake agent office yake ilifungwa sijui shughuli mingi hizo waachane nazo. Kwa sababu kama ilifungwa, that was the first thing I am supposed to, to explain to my mom. The moment my mama mm. alimcall akimuuliza is he eh, shughuli yote ya Paris I think hiyo ndio ingekuwa kitu ya kwanza kuambia my mom but sasa kama inafunguka baadaye eh? okay huyu mtu alienda mute na as a matter of fact kuna neno aliambia my mom na ili ni hard sana aliambia mama yangu hiyo pesa Paris alikuwa anatuma si alikuwa anakula mwenyewe so huyo mtu hata anakuonyesha wow. au kuwa hapo akusaidie hmm? Well, uh, wait, can you say that? wait, can you yeah. say that again? Ati aliambia mama aje. Okay, uh, he was called yani alipigiwa na mama. Mama kumweleza state ya Paris. Ilifika tu point akaambia my mom. Hiyo pesa yenye Paris alikuwa anakutumia. Si ulikuwa unakula mwenyewe. So kama ulikuwa unakula mwenyewe, si wewe usijue tu venye msana wako atakuja. And above all kwani alikuwa anaenda amtafutie yeye okay already alikula pati yake yenye alikuwa supposed to kukula ndio msichana aende but after kwenda kwani alikuwa ni mfungwa like hata akiambiwa kitu yote imehapenia Paris surely was that the response the best response yani he would have give out of course ameangusha my agents wengi sana that that, 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 is, that is that is a very very a shallow statement enye hata sijui kama mtu honestly ukiwa kama mzazi ukiwa kama pastor ukiwa kama uh, there is something that i said kutoka kwa mdomo yako yeah na hiyo maneno alimwambia because i had nilisikia na masikio yangu na ilibidi mama alishuka chini ndio the last minute na hata ma akushuka chini sababu ya mama there was a connection kulikuwa na msichana kutoka Qatar ndio mwenye aliongea na yeye akaamua kushuka chini kupeana hizo documents. Kwa hivyo aache kushinda maneno mingi akisema sema hapo. Na aseme tu alifungiwa ofisi simply because it wasn't a an honest job. Kwa sababu kuna venye utaachilia wa, watoto ni kama wako waende kufanya kazi huko and that is the kind of response unapatia watu. Au watoto wakishikwa na shida, wao ulishakula pati yako. Then watoto hawajarudi kwao. I'm so disappointed in him. Very much disappointed. And actually ajaangusha hata my agent peke yake. Ameangusha mzazi kama mimi ama mzazi kama wewe ama hata mtu mwingine. Kwa sababu hiyo si maneno mzazi kabisa anaweza toa. Inaweza kuwa si mtoto wetu leo alienda, inaweza kuwa ni wa mwingine ama hata wako wao. Hmm? Wa family yake. So at least maybe anyway, I'm disappointed. Uh, breaking news right here on Vote TV. Paris Mogoria Merudishwa deportation. Also, allow me. I'll bring another guest on top of the hour. Come on, leave your sermon.
kazi ni mingi masani machache and people let me tell you something here at Vote TV I have more to do than I can handle let me welcome all the way from Kenya Agi karibu 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 Asante Ah uh, Magi wacha tuingilie kesi yako ebu ji introduce na utuambie vile kunaendelea Naitwa Agnes Kihara. Niko Kenya na Kuru. Mimi ndo Miriam Mwanjiko wa Mboi aliyekea watoto. Nimekaa na wao watoto kutoka last year venye alienda. Na hata kuenda aliniambia nyumba ya kwanza yenye alipeleka boss mwenye alimtoa Kenya ta amefika Saudi alimfanyia kazi like one month huyo boss aka akampeana kwa akamuuza ni kama sijui ni kumuuza or whatever but alimpeana kwa nyumba nyingine akasema ati anaenda Egypt kwa vita ikuwa haikufa alifaa mrudishe kwa ofisi ofisi mtafutie nyumba nyingine nimpeleke sasa venye kumpeleka kwa hiyo nyumba nyingine alifanya alipigia ofisi simu agent hakumshikia simu alishika mara ya kwanza akamuelezea vile kunaenda from there agent akamblock hawajai mm. uh, kuwa na hawaki communicate na agent tena but aliambia agent kwamba amebadilishwa nyumba huyo boss wa kwanza amemupeana kwa nyumba nyingine agent hakuchukua hatua yoyote ya kwenye alichukua ni kublock ku Miriam sasa Miriam kwa ile nyumba alikuwa sasa akinielezea aliniambia alikuwa wanamtesa of which kuna siku huyo mama wa hiyo nyumba alikuwa amemwekea food poison hivyo ndo Miriam aliniambia akanipigia simu usiku akaniambia mama yangu muniombe sana kwa sababu sijui ni nini niliyekuwa kwa chakula na huyo mama analala kila usiku ki, usiku akikuja kuniangalia so sijui ni nini ilikuwa ime happen hapo ndo mira mataniambia kinyume na venye naona hii nyumba mimi itabidi nitafute means nitoke kwa hii nyumba juu agent walisha ni block hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza nisaidia hapo ndo mira mataniambia January date 15 ataniambia atatoka kwa hiyo nyumba from there alimaliza like three months kama ajai ajai ni two months kama ajai ni ongelesha ajai dia nini baadaye ndo akapiga simu na hizo good za jera akaniambia alishikwa akitoka kwa ile nyumba akanyang'anywa pesa yake na makorisi na akanyang'anywa nguo zake hana anything kwa jera kwa tu hivyo na zile nguo alishikwa amaliingia nazo huko ndo nikamuuliza nilimwambia nini akaniambia kuna kitu wamemwambia wanamwambia tu makosa yake ni kukosa idea Saudi Arabia hiyo tu ndo wamemshikia na hiyo ndo wanamfungia Mwanza wakasema wamemfunga 6 months. 6 months venye ziliisha akanipigia akani simu akaniambia tena wamemuongezea another 6 months. Sasa inaelekea kumaliza mwaka juu. Saizi yako 11 months jera. Sasa ndo nini nilikuwa natafuta msaada wenye mwanga baba. Kulingana na saizi hii maisha ni ngumu sana na kuka kwa nyumba sina kazi. Watoto niko na watoto wangu wanne plus watoto wa Miriam. We uh, I have seven kids kwa hii nyumba na naishi one bed. Wait. Seven kids and one bedroom house. Yeah. Sasa nimeangalia vizuri. Kuna wenye wanalala kwa vitu hapa kuna mmoja amelala kwa kiti kuna wengine wamelala pale hivyo nimejisukumia tu hii maisha juu sasa watoto siwezi tupa na mama yao akiniachia aliniachia tu akijua naweza kuwa mzazi mwema so for today leo asubuhi watoto waliamka huyo mkubwa akaanza kukulia kiniuliza sasa mama yetu hata haikuja ndo nikawaambia 
mimi nitawachukua video muombe msaada kwa serikali kama serikali ita, itasikia kilio yenu watoto itawasaidia and uh, that's the video which you ulinitumia na nikaweza pia kuweka kwa facebook page yangu na hiyo story ya um, hiyo story ya Miriam ime and uh, in a spread sana sana now what i'm going to do is uh, to all the viewers i understand what um uh, what agi is going through msikivile ametuambia um it's such a it's such a sad story i'm a child of one sorry what what that na 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 let me see na Miriam yako na watoto watoto wanne wake in one bedroom house uh, allow me um Miriam is to the Miriam ime, again is to the Miriam ime, and I'll show you guys on my Facebook page this story has spread like wildfire now My sister again iko na some breaking news ambazo uko unajua kwa sababu I always keep I always tell people Vote TV is a platform whose foundation is my God in heaven. I always say that all the time. Baada ya kuongea na wewe mi um Agi, baada ya kuongea na wewe I'll show you what I've received. I even know exactly by the way are you ko Malaz? Are you ko Jale Malaz? She's in another prison uh, ambayo iko at the border Uh, yeah, Saudi Arabia and Yemen but uh, let me let's play the video of the kids for ndio nyinyi muone these are the kids pleading mama yao achiliwe nangu asemi Tunaomba Uh, uh, mama Paris and uh, Shiro uh, let's focus on this story kwanza uh, I'll play the, let me let, let's watch this video again alafu niko na maswali kadhaa Okay, I'll then come back here. Those are kids. Ani watoto. Mom, mom arudi, mom arudi akiwa hai. I don't know. Those if, are kids. If, if possible kuna mmoja ajala first born wa Miriam. Yeah, kalete. Nate atusalimia. Uja. Woni nani woni shiko. Eh. Eh but atusalimia. Kuja 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 hapa.
to other viewers uh Jeff, we are now dealing we are now uh Shiko mm -hmm. Kuja kuja hapa hivi kuja karibu na kamera uongee Sasa Wa Ujalala bado Niko nimeara Sasa Mhm Una mismam Mm. Ngataka kutuambia nini leo? Mimi mm, nataka kuambia mtusaidie. Arudi akio hai. Wow. Ngataka kuambia serikali nini shiko? Watusaidie <coughs> <coughs> That's right. Okay. Wow. Oh, shit. Again. Sasa? Oh, not New York. Masi. Masi. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Una miss mom. Eh. Ngeta kuambia serikali nini? Asaidie uh, mama toke dera. Mm. Ulenga na mama lini mara mwisho? Nakumbuka. Ali kwa mbeni ya kenda Saudi ya? Atarudi. Wow. Wow. Um kwa hivyo kuna kuna sister anaitwa Shiko, wewe mwingine anaitwa nani? Blessing. Blessing. Eh. Bado mnaenda shule? Mhm. Mnaenda uko class uko class gani? Siri. Class three. Eh. Okay. Mama takuja nyumbani. Mama takuja home. Lanchi. Kuna mtu amesema? Kuna mtu amesema mama takuja next month. Atendiwa na achiliwa. Sanchi. Kwa hivyo, tuombe. Sawa. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, um, agi story bila nilipos kwa Facebook ilianda ilianda kuspreda raka sana. Um, so again, come on, did you say, Ma? Are you co? Um, are you co? 
ayu kwa malaz kwa hivyo kujumlu kama unasema ayu kwa malaz eh? ayu kwa malaz okay ako place inaitwa let me see hiyo place inaitwa uh, zenani Umesikia? Kwa hivyo amefungiwa zena, amefungiwa zenani. Um iko pale it's very it's very far from Riyadh by the way. Kama nilivyosema iko kwa iko kwa mpaka ya uh, mpaka ya Saudi na Yemen. That's where she is. Number two, um I'm going to play this information here. This is someone that we have spoken to anigataka kila mtu ambaye yuko hapa askiza this is an exclusive interview na mtaweza na atanyi agia and those who are here tutaweza kuelewa exactly what happened and what's going on right now so give me a second na mtu na mimi ya karuti lakini sasa hii alafu tena nimesikia ni kama ameenda mashisho ameenda tena angalia bro huyo masiri huyo masiri huyo wendo ulimfanyia connection ni Mariam kuja huku eh mwenyewe ya kwa sababu alikuwa anafanya kampuni oh kwa hivyo wendo ukafanyia connection akakuja ya akakuja lakini mimi wewe mwenyewe sasa siko na jiona nani anafungi ni yeye mwenyewe alikuwa ya mwenyewe amekuja huku tumejuana yani asasi kaka ni ya pia mtu wa price kwa nikauliza agent huko kama kuna mtana kama wa organizer akakuja akaja kwa huyo akaja kwa huyo huyo ambaye si msaudi boss wake ambaye si msaudi eh sasa boss wake ambaye si msaudi wakati wa kusafiri ndo akampeana kwa mwarabu eh alipompeana kwa mwarabu then ndo akaamua kuhepa sasa ndiye akaamua kuhepa mwenyewe oh hata kwa memaliza hata kwa memaliza ni kama yeye kwa memaliza ni club ya mwezi mmoja tu kwa memaliza kwa huko Saudi mmoja amua kuhepa ndio kaenda kushuka kwenye basi ya Sabtu kwa sasa eh kwanza ashaingia mpaka jida ndio mepita huko jizani amepita nini zote take point zote zipata kwenda na unjua kutoka hapa kwenda kwenda ni kwa mtaka gani mia sita mia tano mhm mia sita mhm ameshikiwa jita sasa akijia jita sasa wakaulizo umetoka umetoka wapi mkatamekana me tolewa jizani sasa kutoka sasa wenye wazi mwezeza mpaka hapa jizani makarao ee wakampeana sasa hapa kujibani alikuwa sasa kika pata njuta saa wa? akini ya pia ya ni mwenye ya mwenye ndo alikueleza alivu kwa ndani alivu patele simi ya kule polisi ndani ee lakini tulizawa ya nyo nikuwa naona FB ya nasema alikuwa na chota na anaro wa ya nasemetewa chakura ya ni ya chitema lakini kashidi mtu every time up online riti na mwenye na jipitia kwa sababu ye mwenye likuna niyapia hana ina jipitia na jipitia huku kwa mwenye wali mwapi aje wali mwapi kwa sababu inaonekana chakura ya tunakura kufai we jipiti jipitia chakura unumue kila kitu akaeda mwenye na huu mtu ya kato ya kila kitu ya kia kakichopesa mwenye na niyabia maadia mtu ya niyabia ah lea ni meperekwa ya kanunua kila kitu nini ya ni ibu mwenye uchimikia oke kama kama mtu ya mpereka amesha mwenye kila kitu na kia kia mengikisha mwenye kia lapia taakalia kama watanikata baadae kutopaku mwenye kwa bitu mi bitu mi ndafanya hivi kwa ndafanya hivi agi junajua again kuna kuna audio kuna nimepokea ujumbe mwingi sana kuhusu ambayo imeweza mi kuweza kuelewa vile ku, vile kulifanyika lakini um, ni ukweli ya kwamba the reason ambayo alishikwa alishikwa bila ID ya Saudia umesikia that's a part um, 
eh, jambo la pili ayuko malaz umesikia hapa aliyuko panaitwa zenani okay that iko iko pale iko pale kwa mpaka ya Saudi na Yemen number three, and i want us to hold on that on on that factor ah uh, uyu 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 jamaa ambaye anaongea anasema ya kwamba ah uh, Miriam ako suppose kuachiliwa next month okay so ah uh, kwa hivyo itabidi nifuatilie uh, nijue kama okay anaongea ukweli ama wajua huwezi vitu kama hizi juu ni kesi very complicated huwezi ukajua lakini tutafuatilia does it make any sense yes na, ni, na pia niko sure um, um, nina kuna simu ambazo ninapigiwa nina na kuna messages mingi sana ambazo nimeandikiwa tangu hiyo post tangu ni post hiyo story ya, um, ya Miriam kwa Facebook page yangu la asubuhi ya leo kwa hivyo if anything comes through nitakuambia <coughs> Now agi um watoto watoto saba kwa nyumba nyumba moja how do you survive how do you how do you manage that na madi naenda kibarua weekends ya kwa kwa club ya casual na dipo 500 ah ndapata tu alafu Mamaji. lakini okay but you have seven kids jesus um okay something i would like to say uh at before to delay and mama, mama peris ka hapo mkiwa na shiro uh, tutarudia uh, story ya peris tena mbona 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 mam Unaona vile mambo ziko? Hii Saudia. Eh, nyole ona. Agi um just talk. Mimi ningetaka kutuambia leo. Mi especially after kuona watu hii kina shikona kina blessing. Ah uh, nguvu imenisha. Ningetaka kuambia watazamaji leo sada yote tu yenye inaweza patikana especially food inaweza tusaidia sana kwa sababu hizi wakati huu ni mgumu sana kama saa hizi kama ni ugali inapikwa unga kilo mbili na mimi saa hiyo hata sijahesabiwa mimi sikulangi huko mara mingi ni yenye naenda ama nakuja tu nalala hivyo juu sometimes wanapika chakula wanakula inaisha Tulikuwa hapa na Anita Saturday. Watu wake wakula awakula sapa hiyo siku. And by the way thank you very much uh Vo TV family. Uh we raised 15,000 shillings a quick fundraiser ya dakika tano. Uh I'll bring Anita hapa tena this week. Kini story ya uh, historia Miriam Okay Let me ask a question here To those who are those who are watching in Evo TV Tunakujanga hapa tu hapa hizi platform ya kusema tu uoye Nataka hii familia ya Agi Nataka Agi tumsaidie nataka hiyo nyumba ifanywe shopping
Nataka ya nyumba ifanyo shopping. Seven kids. One person. Um, um, Agi, there's something ulisama about uh, Okay, you see what? Thank you very much. Let me give a shout out to my to my brother Kenyan by marriage. Who's in who's in who's in Oregon, here in the USA. I'm saying I will donate something to this to this family this Friday. Just hit me up on WhatsApp where to send Mr. Nelson. I give you see you no I just I haven't even spoken. Thank you, KBM. I'll do this. Um, give me a second. Number one, Pesa, Agi. Zero seven nineteen. Zero seven nineteen. Six one. Six one. Six eight. Six eight. Two nine. Two nine. Namajina. Agnes Kihara. Agnes Kihara. Okay. To those who are watching here. My Foxy at VoTV, VoTV family on YouTube, the Nelson My Podcast YouTube channel, those who are watching on Facebook. Number, Ndioyo, Ya Mpesa, Ya Agnes Kihara. 0719-616829. Sali amesema apo. I'm trying to imagine seven kids now to me are Kenya. A letter number to buy unga. Sali wa ndio yo. Ndio yo number apo. Can we do this? Hold up. Uh, Nona kuna pia messages na ingia huku. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Sali. Mtu aseme nita nitanunua unga. Mtu aseme nita nunua mboga. Mtu aseme nita whatever. I want this family to eat. Okay. Me what I'm going to do is um, uh, I, can tell, I, I, can, I can tell you right away. Uh, agi nita lipa renti ya nita kulipia renti ya tuko meziwa tuko meziwa kumi na moja. Sindio? Kwa hivo when do you pay your rent? Natipanga date 10, but he is in Japan, Abadu. Okay, so, me talk to me, 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 Okay, can we stand up with these kids here? Mi kwanza nikisikia mimi mambo za chakula kwanza ndio zinafanyanga hata mimi nisikia when i hear unasikia what people are going through kids, kids, kids are sleeping bila chakula what all this kind of stuff so to those who are watching again if this story if you if you want to help agi Three kids from Miriam and four kids in Newark. Those are seven kids in one household. This is tough. This is tough. So to those who have said Ambao Mesama, KBM, thank you very much. You got the number now. Write the number down. And then uh, KBM Mesama, uh, 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 KBM Mesama Tatuma, on fr on Friday, okay. Another question. Um, another. Where are you, Agnes? Ukwapi Agi. 
Nakuru. 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 Yeah. Okay. Next kuna comment ya Angela Wambuya amesema she has tried so much. Na kuna Rosafi, let me send her something by Unga. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Um kuna comment hapa ya Shiro in a, this one goes to my market Paris. I'm going to wakati ni kama golf tulikuwa tunaongea na Paris. God have mercy on us. Uh, I'm getting a, a message here. Yes, someone is asking, did she say her rent was 6000 shillings a month? Yes. Um, uh, my brother in Oregon is asking that question. Uh, I'll give wait, wait, I'll give you Okay. Unaona hapa tumekuwa na watu wengi people who know wale ambao wanajua uh wale ambao wanajua wanajua Miriam wengine hapa mam wanajua Paris history ya Paris imetuma imetuma ime, ime, nguvu Paris kwambia kwamba Joyce Valeria the number is on the screen tafadhali look at look on the screen the Mpesa number is on the screen it's rolling on the screen please guys 0719616829 that's Mpesa number uh, I'll bring Agitana these two cases right here easy case in Billy leo tumeisha nguvu kuna watoi wake Miriam eh seven kids she's taking care of seven kids okay Ashlyn Nguli guys if i can read this you guys need sunglasses i mean you guys need glasses i repeat 0719 6829 Agnes Kihara. Joyce, um, you're here. Can you please type that number? I'll have to pin it on the on the co- comment. Ashlyn Nguli, we got you. Wale ambao wanaingia saa hii like uh, Nadia Doris. Oh, Paris is your ca- Paris is your Oh, Paris is your cousin. Oh my goodness. Kazi na Paris iko hapa. But let's let's stick on here. Uh, let me come kwa comments. Give me a second. Hapa ni Inivo TV kuduma kwa wote. Na hapa ni kusema na kutenda. Hapa tu atukutengi tu kulia we don't, we don't cry with not taking without without actions. Um, let me put this number again 0719 6168 Agnes Kihara Oh my goodness Agi Yes Unaona hizi comments Okay kuna my sister Shiro Shiro wa UK Amesema I will pay rent for December Santi God bless. Okay. I pin the number here. So, look on the screen, the number is right there. Vincent Okori. My this is one brother that I do appreciate so much. Okay. Uh, Vincent has sent 400 But there those who are watching it is if if there's someone who has sent something you can just you can just uh let us know Thank you thank you Vincent thank you very much this is for TV And just to give you another update again 
thank you for those who juice it tulikuwa na Anita Kadesa and thank you very much we were able to hit over 15000 that we've raised in less than 10 minutes ndio pia naweza kusomea family yake it's the same story chakula so thank you very much let me give a shout out to uh those people like Shirowa Gre Shirowa UK thank you mama sema she'll pay the december rent KBM Vincent Okori thank you very much and also Vincent Okori is a member here at Vote TV thank you very much for supporting this channel thank you very much uh you know Paris ha hena mwe direto wa Shiro Grace Shiro Grace ne cousin ne cousin ya asa wani ne cousin ya Paris uh Shiro Grace Matiaka eh ne cousin yake So back to you mom uh Paris and Juliet mambia amerudishwa deportation amepelekwa amerudishwa sakani so amekataa apita airport amerudishwa deportation Elizabeth Wayongo nimetuma 500 Nelson thank you Shiros uh, agi simu yako simu yako ina ina confirm kibipa ama uwezi ukaona kama uko live Yonishi. Oh you have to be okay I will see when you are live anyway Vincent Okori thank you ametuma Elizabeth Wayongo ametuma this is what we do here You see we always always keep on mimi nambianga watu waje uwezi saidia kila mtu Shiro Grace I'm saying I will send something at the end of the month. And you guys who are those who are making pledges stick to your pledges. Okay? There's power, there's power in giving. There is power. Yeah, there's one question ambao na shina nikisahau kukuuliza. Agi, did you say one of your kids are gonna name sick or something? Agi. Yes. Uh, Aku anasikia vizuri lakini ametibiwa. Oh, Aku anasikia vizuri. Eh, but ametibiwa. Mpaka madawa. Wow. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Kenyan by marriage will send you two months rent end of the week so you got two months rent shirowa uk is doing december that's three months rent paid i'm taking care of one month that's four months rent paid Jen Dan Amatuma Vincent those who I'm leaving out Ashton Guli has also sent Do you see what is happening now Agnes ino ita kwavo TV Ya ya muradi Ashton Guli sent So four months you have which are guaranteed you can sleep your rent Are we clear on that? Yeah Mimi yeah. Shirowa UK my brother KBM so you got those so, so right now you can sleep you can sleep and say you know what i came here with nothing my four months rent are taken care of so let's start from there Sally Wayne sent you 500 and but it give god is filling your cup right now mm-hmm. Vile umeingia hapa 
is not how you leave this place. Does it make any sense to you? Na lewa agi mzigo wa kubeba watoto watoto saba. It's not easy. Elizabeth, thank you very much. Who has also sent you? How you walked in here is not how you leave. Now you came in here crying. You'll walk out here with a smile. And also it's my prayer. Ya kwamba the info that I have ya kwamba um at Media Matachiliwa next month. Let's hope this is going to be true. Ashley Nguli, thank you. Sally Wayne, thank you. Yeah, Joyce, thank you very much. Can you thank can you guys thank can you thank those people who are also confirming their uh their donations? Best number is on the screen. 0719616829. Agnes Kehara. Thank you very much. Thank you. So tuko na mambo mbili hapa. Paris Mugore tumeambiwa akupitishwa airport walikataa pita juu ya connection yake lakini amerudishwa Sakan. Um my sister Agi now with your story you see what is happening here. Let's hope Miriam atachiliwa next next month. Come in in Avio Semekana. I will follow up with mm. this guy kwa sababu inaonekana anajua he knows too much. Then kuna mtu mwingine pia on the ground ameniambia he'll try to find out more about uh Miriam. Tulikuwa tunafikiria ko riadha lakini hayuko riadha. Mmesikia mmesikia mm. kule alipelea kwa. Yeah. Yeah, actually <clears throat> my friend was alikuwa ananiambia kama ko riadha he would have made a point to go to Riyadh to find out more information about what's happening. To all the viewers, let me say this. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for supporting this channel. Thank you very much for your prayers. Shiroa UK, done. Shiroa UK done. Rent ya December imelipwa. Oh, barik san. My boy in Oregon should get my impressor by Keith by Friday night or Saturday morning. He only had the other rent here two months. So by Friday, end of this week. It's not even it's not even three hours, right? Yeah. Do you see where we are right now? Yeah. Mungu bariki sana. Nikusaidia wanyonge. And that's what I've been telling people I've been, I've been, I've been saying my vision for this platform. This is Vote TV network. This is a broadcasting network. I talk about legacy. This is not about hype. I deal with human beings. I deal with people who are going through situations. And I repeat, ata ufanye nini agi? Nina wa Paris. Ata ufanye nini? Uwezo ukasaidia kila mtu. You cannot. Lakini ule utaweza kusaidia unasaidia unaenda tena mema nenda za nenda zako hata yeah. agisa hii akitoka hapa simu inalia bado simu simu messages zinaingia 
kuna watu wako hapa wana watch broadcast sasa hivi wanaandika hapa na Nibia Nelson hata mimi niko na shida You see where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for your time. Uh Nina Paris to put lay story of Paris. Mm-hmm. Shiro. Yeah. Thank you very much to the Fortilia. Thank mm-hmm. you. Uh our co-founder. Mko nakuru pia mama mko wapi? Eh niko nakuru. Na wewe agi uko wapi? Uko na kuru pia? Uh, yeah. Yeah. chano imekuwa ni na kuru people. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mnaita Las Vegas. Las <laughs> Vegas. Las Vegas. Agi. Na kuru na sasa yangu mnaitanga Las Vegas. Niko na kulia kiulia. Oria. Mama ni kona kama alikuwa ameenda airport which means walikuwa tayari kuja nyumbani Eh. Ni kwa sababu ya ile hali ambaye Paris yuko. Na hali kuna, kila, kila airline inakuanga mm. kila airline inakuanga na inakuanga na restrictions zake. Eh. Kumbuka mtoto wako ako, okay, ako blind deaf wheelchair. Now. Vile wangefanya. Eh. Vile wangefanya in this case. Now now actually let me tell you wacha wacha niambia watu wa Sakan there's something called assisted traveling mm-hmm. that's what they need that's what they need for Paris Mogore mm-hmm. she needs assisted traveling pakuwa na mtu ambaye atashikilia Paris kutoka Saudi mpaka JKIA Paris sio sie sie wa kwanza kuja Kenya akiwa na wheelchair akiwa mlemavu. Tumeona wengi? Eh, zinaweza kuwa wengi. Hata hata kina walikuja tu juzi. So, lakini kesi mm. wapange they have to plan mm. assisted traveling for Paris Mugure. Mm. Na actually the best thing, thank you Shiro, uh, Shiro amandika hapa thank you very much Shiro. If possible, vile yuko asafiri na nurse. Mm-hmm. Get a nurse qualified who can handle Paris all the way from Saudi and back to Kenya. So Paris she she died get a sea ticket because they are supposed to what well, they, they are supposed to take care of all that. Um mm-hmm. like in again what we, again kwa sababu there's somewhere I have to go right now but um tutaongea baadaye kama there are other things that we have to come and tuongea hapa publicly tutapanga um uh, but at least Mungu anaendelea kuleta mwangaza kwa hii mambo mm-hmm. ingekuwa jambo la furaha kama tungesikia ameingia kwa ndege na she's on the way to Kenya i was actually praying for that mm-hmm. so Um, and again thank you very much Shiro. Shiro amesema that's the only way the airlines will allow her, her to travel if she has a nurse. Um Sally, thank you for the, thank, thank you very much uh, Sally for your contribution. Uh, Agnes usiwai chokeshwa na hawa watoto hadi mama yao arudi na Mungu atakulipa. You've done so much. You've done so much for those kids. You've sacrificed so much. Okay? Yeah. yeah? Uh, um near the below the way ni ulisema tu seven kids ni sema oh my goodness seven kids Mm-mm. this is stuff i get to kushikilia at least now what i want you to do is after this 
live stream, reset your mindset. Okay? Now, don't focus on the I don't have. Okay? Mm. Focus on good. Four months rent is paid. Thanks, God. Okay? Mm-hmm. Chakula, kuna, the money which is coming to your personal number, and the budget. Okay? So me, me from my, from my side, at least I can sleep in peace and, and know kuna mtumoja bayo tumashikilia. Kuya leo. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Kesho wa mke, kemuka kesho, go do, go do some shopping. Nunu wa unga. And I'm, I'm sure more people will come through. Kusabu kwa Facebook, umenda vile yu kitu imesambaa Facebook. It's gone. It's spreading all over the place. Wow. Okay? Yeah. Hey, but get back to Hani. Now, get to me, Hani. Get the car. Now, we're going to get the car. Hey, Las Vegas. Shule me kwa njia kwa nakuru. Shule me kwa njia kwa nakuru. So shout out. Ata siku anajua. So shout out to Mama Perry si nakuru. Uh, Margaret Wanjiro. In a cool, thank you very much. May God bless you. May God uplift you. May, may God prosper you. And also, Agnes Kihara, thank you very much. May God prosper you. To all the viewers, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow right here on Vote TV. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye bye.